Hello. In this presentation, I'm going to introduce an important electronic artificial design, which is the artificial nose, or what we call it by electronic or electric nose, the e -nomes. In this presentation outline, how do we smell? What is an e -nose? The history of an e -nose, the electric concept of the e -nose, working principle and the block diagram, Basic design of an ENOS, the nano sensors MSS, ENOS advantages and ENOS applications, the possible future applications, ENOS in the medical field, and the conclusion of this presentation. How do we smell? Smelling is a very complicated process where a small molecules that reach our nose by air are then recognized by molecules in our nose and are then translated into an electrical signal that is transmitted to the brain and processed there and eventually gives us the impression of we smell something sweet, we smell something like the chocolate or we smell something like whatever. What is an e -nose? An electronic nose is a system that uses a pattern of responses from an array of a gas sensor to examine and identify a gaseous sample. It is a device intended to detect odors and flavors. Over the last two decades, electronic sensing or e-sensing technologies have undergone important developments from a technical and commercial point of view. The expression electronic sensing refers to the ability to reproduce human senses using sensor arrays in pattern recognition systems. Since 1982, research has been conducted to develop technologies commonly referred to as electronic noses that could detect and recognize odors and flavors. The stages of the recognition process are simil similar to human all factions that are performed for identification, comparison, quantification, and other applications, including data storage and retrieval. However, the specificity of the human nose, given that it is related to the uh, subjective opinions, these devices have undergone much development and are now used to fulfill industrial needs. This technology has been invented by a team of students and professors from IIT Bombay. The professor from the Department of Electrical Engineering said, The e -nose is a nanotech-based electromechanical device with a specific coating on its surface. There are minute cantilevers on the surface, its total length equivalent to the decimeter of a strand of a human hair. These cantilevers act as sensors and the nanomolecules present in the cantilevers bind to the vapor of explosives, thereby detecting the presence of the same. What this means is that every explosive will have a certain pattern, and these explosives, the molecules of these explosives are going to bond on the surface. So the higher the surface area and the more the number of different types of chemicals, the more is the chance of the device sensing more of these explosives. The best part is that this is completely based on nanotechnology, so it will be available in the future in simply smartphones. How safe the world will get? What is the e-nose concept or how does an electronic nose work? An electronic nose is a mechanism that works on the same principles as a human sense of smell. When we breathe, the volatile compounds that are suspended in the air are detected by the factory receptors which send information about the compounds in the brain where they are identified as particular smell. In the electronic nose, your factory receptors are sensors that have been placed in the measuring chamber and we created the volatile chemical compounds present in the air by means of physical chemical interactions. These interactions bring about the change in the properties of the senses. The signal that uh, they send doesn't go to the brain. It's processed by a computer program that extracts the most characteristic features of each aroma and present the results in a series of pattern classification algorithms. These artificial factory instruments have become small, economic, and reliable solutions that have an increasing number of applications 
for detecting diseases by analyzing the breath, measuring toxic gases, or determining whether food is good to, uh, good to eat. ENOS includes the three major parts, a sampling delivery system, a detection system or sensing unit, a computing system or what we call pattern recognition unit. A sampling delivery system enables the generation of the volatile compound and then injects the headspace into detection system. The detection system consists of a sensor set. Sensors, when contacted with volatile compounds, develop a change in the electrical properties. This response is recorded by electronic interface transforming the signal into a digital value. The computing system works to combine the responses of all sensors. It performs a global fingerprint analysis and provides results and presentations that can be easily interpreted and presentations that can be easily antidepressant. Upon normal operation, we create a stable baseline that is basically just the current between the source and drain. Upon proper fictionalization of the FET, we create a, a system that generates a selective electronic response to give inner lights by changing the charge transfer characteristics of the graph in itself and this generation electronic readout. This is actually the major advantage of the system to be able to electronically detect a label-free small molecule. The material that connects two electrodes strain and source need to fulfill several criteria. First of all, it needs to be a semiconductor with excellent charge transport properties. It needs to be thin and flexible, yet strong and robust as it operates in an aqueous environment, and it needs to be biocompatible, yet it must uh, not interfere with the inner lights in solution. The nanosensors MSS is a piezo-resistive nanomechanical sensor, a silicon membrane platform supported with four beams with integrated piezo-resistors. This MEMS sensor is very versatile and primarily designed for R&D in the fields of electronic nose, other sensing, or factory system. The nanosensors membrane type surface stress sensor MSS is a device to detect specific components in gaseous phase with highly sensitivity using a piezo-resistive nanomechanical sensor. This device shows a great potential as a core component for electronic nose or factory system utilized in medical food, environment safety, and security fields. A receptor material coded on the membrane determines the sensitivity and the specificity of the individual sensor. Researchers can create an original sensor STMSS1K and STMSS1K2G both have one millimeter diameter membrane and are suitable for R&D in the field of gas odor sensing. The main difference is the membrane thickness and the dye footprint. For gas odor sensing, the membrane is coated with a receptor layer sensitive to volatile organic compounds, which determines the sensitivity and the specificity of the individual sensor. The coating is done with the inkjet spotter, spray coater, or manually with micro pipette. Upon absorbing volatile organic compounds, the receptor uh, layer yields surface stress and deform the membrane, which induces resistance to changes of the uh, piezo resistors. By monitoring the Wheatstone bridge output, the presence of the target gas other molecule is detected. MSS-8 RAM is a USB-powered basic electronic module to operate and to read out nano uh, sensors MSS. Up to eight sensors stimulously under a hardware configuration for electronic nose order sensing. MSS-8 RAM contains two air pumps and uh, users can examine self-prepared MSS under different gas flow conditions. MSS ATRAM is designed as simply as possible to, uh, so that users can learn about a basic ENO system and further improve the system uh, performance. Note that MSS ATRAM doesn't include any data processing functions to distinguish one sample from the other. We will get ROM numerical data of the 
sensor responses under different conditions as final output. Why using e-nose is better? First, to train the human sniffers are expensive, as we all know. Also, individuals vary. It can be real-time for long periods, and electronic nose don't fatigue or get the flu. Also, it can be sent to detect toxic and hazardous situations that human wish to avoid. Artificial electronic noses are used in food safety, telemedicine, emergency response, military and space, and environmental monitoring. For food industry applications, grading the quality of food by order, fish inspection, microwave oven cooking control, and grading whiskey. In medical applications, analyze order from the body and identifies the problem. The electronic nose acts as a doctor's sixth sense, and by sensing the breath of the patient, a doctor may identify the problem. And it is used in environmental monitoring for identification of toxic waste, for environmental protection, for detection of oil leakage, and for monitoring air quality. Artificial nose has the important possible future applications in the field of crime prevention and security. First, it may detect the drug orders, and it may detect bombs. Also, e -nose has possible future applications in the field of health and security. It can be used in detection of dangerous bacteria, detection of lung cancer, and the quality control of food products. When there is a cancerous growth in the body, it releases distinctive molecule organic compounds. When these molecules are released, they travel in the bloodstream. The molecules reach the lung where they are admitted to the breath. The number of molecules is very small. Right there, when they leave the mouth with the exhaled breath, is where the nano-artificial nose can examine and find those traces of cancer. When the molecules touch the sensor, the nano-e-nose identifies it and since a working with the nano-artificial nose, it will be possible to diagnose the early stages of cancer and save lives. Initial analysis shows that ENOS can distinguish between patients with epilepsy and controls with 84% sensitivity and 76% specificity. The device has a positive predictive value of 81% and a negative predictive value of 80%. Also, studies show that the artificial nose can detect asthma. So, as a conclusion, humans are subjected to fatigue and inconsistencies and are very slow in identifying order. Hence, faster methods give way to the electronic nose with the speedier procedures. For more info about this uh, artificial nose, you can read this article in the following link. Thank you for listening and for your patience and hope that you can benefit from what I have just presented. Stay safe.